Hi, it's Doug Atkinson at Solutions Review, and we have a special guest today, Amir Orad, CEO of SciSense, one of the leaders in the uh, BI sector, uh, certainly an up-and-coming player and uh, growing rapidly with uh, lots of interesting things happening. You're up in the Boston area visiting some clients. You stopped yep. in to say hello to us, which we appreciate. Thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, tell me a little bit about what is driving the size and solution these days. What are customer at, customers asking for? Sure, happily. The analytics market is really changing. People are drowning with data sets. We have more and more data and more and more data sources in the cloud, on premise, all over the place. At the same time, we need faster way to make decisions without putting a big IT project. And those reasons are why people are picking Sysense way more than in the past and investing in BI more than in the past. Deploying it within their business and within their products to enable their products with their end users. And so where do we where do we sit right now with regard to that? I mean, is it is this is this a solution that's just for the big boys? Is there are there, are there is there space for small companies, mid mid-sized companies? I mean, sure. where are things fitting right now? So Sysense actually is 50% SMBs and 50% large companies. The SMBs had nothing usually, maybe Excel, and they're jumping to third generation BI. They're lucky to have no infrastructure in the way. Um, the larger companies have some assets which are expensive and powerful usually but not agile and not business friendly. And they need to augment that if not replace it. Both of them don't have anything around the embedded analytics. It's almost a new market. And every company, every product, every service out there now wants to add analytics to what they offer on top of their product and data. So, so with regard to that, what are, what are some of the verticals that you see you get the most traction with? Yeah. We see a big uh, investment in healthcare we see a big one in the industrial sector. So for example, in healthcare, G Healthcare or Philips Healthcare embed Sysense within their products to add analytics to the hospitals. But we have hundreds of companies within that space. In industrial, we have customers from Airbus to British Engines to Rolls-Royce, um, et cetera. Again, we have complex data sets. We need quick decisions to make about their industry and their machinery to save money. And we need people like Sysense to help them. Um, so those are two fast-growing sectors. Financial is obviously one. Sure. Um, but even ones you don't think about. In retail, in small businesses, pizza shops, right, hotel chains. Well, we'll speak Everyone to that a analytics. little bit. So, that's, so you mentioned that, you know, midsize yeah. and, and SMB are half your business. Yeah. I mean, who is it that, that, that has that access to that data that can take sure. advantage of it? I just met this morning uh, one of our customers. It's a small hotel company. Right? We have a couple of assets, properties, and they want to be more competitive. Otherwise, they'll be killed and crushed by the big guys. So what do you do? You use analytics. So they use analytics to decide how to better price their assets. They use analytics to know who to market those rooms. They use analytics to decide when to do promotions and when not to. They use analytics to run their own business more efficiently. They use analytics to make decisions versus gut feelings. So that company without analytics will be dead just a matter of time. Well, and you're talking as well, I know the SciSense solution is really, uh, it's, it's far more um, wide ranging in that it's yeah. data management, yeah. data integration, and analytics, Correct. visualization. Um, how, do you, how do you see the self-service mm -hmm. movement kind of fitting into all of that? I know there's, there's a lot of concern, or at least we've seen a lot of concern that you know, sometimes this is a little too complicated. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, a lot of these solutions, what we've seen, are, are really unleashing not your typical kind of scientist, but oh, really yeah. somebody who's just an end user right. who gets access to so these. So Sysense does not sell to scientists. Our end users are human beings, mere mortals. Right. They're not engineers, <laughs> they're not scientists, they're not any of that. They are smart people in their business and domain that want to make decisions based on data. And the reason we went with a single stack, one product that does it all from data acquisition, connectivity, analysis, anal analytics, and all the way to visualization, is that a mere mortal, a human being, cannot, by five technology tools, find the DBA, build a data warehouse, connect all of them, pray five times to get a result. That's not <laughs> or, for, or wait two weeks. That, well, <laughs> two months or two years. That's really more for a big IT shop in a rich company, right? A human being needs something to give him answers. 
So if the data is simple, use Excel or Tableau or other tools. If data is complex, size and single stack has endless value for those human beings. So, so with regard to that, so you're basically democratizing data mm -hmm. analytics. Yep. How does a company start to prepare for that? You know, yep. how do they say, okay, everything you're saying makes sense to me, yep. but I'm not sure I'm ready because I just haven't harnessed my data yet, or I haven't been thinking about collecting it. Yeah. What, is, what, is, what are some of the things that, steps that a company can make? So the beauty is, in the past, that decision was a big decision, multi-million dollar investment, bold involvement, etc. Now you can do it so quickly, and in such an agile way, and cost-effective way, my best advice is just try. Download a copy, ask for a POC, do a test for three days. You should get more value in the three days than the last three months. If you do, it's relevant. If you don't, maybe it's a waste of time. And is, is it easy for size science to yes. step in and, yes. and, and, and help? We're that? actually very proud to say in 90 minutes, an hour and a half, without any prep, no prep whatsoever, we'll look at your data and produce real production quality dashboards with insights. Nice. That's our job. If we're as good as we claim, if not, kick us out. It's a very simple relationship. But give us 90 minutes. That's all we ask for. So now, is that, is that why you're, you're starting to show so much uh, movement in the magic quadrant and with the analysts and so forth? I mean, you guys are certainly uh, knocking on the door of the leader category, a very high visionary, certainly above yeah. a lot of very large brands. Yeah, so I think we have a fetish on ongoing innovation and focus on customer success. And we've been every quarter in the last three years innovating, inventing something new in this market. All designed to do one thing, simplify complex data for those human beings, mere mortals, right, for business people. And we've been ahead of the curve with those innovations. And the value is measured in the field. People are happy with the product. They vote. Gardner said we have the highest satisfaction in all of the MQ. It says something. People come back to buy more because it provides value. The older companies have a very different way of doing things. Go to central IT, build a data warehouse, buy an ETL product, etc., etc. We believe that approach is dead in this market. And our new approach apparently is catching on. Well, and so how do you do that? How, 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 have, you, how have you sorted that out? I mean, what is the kind of secret sauce that oh. you're bringing to the table? So first of all, it's secret. So if I tell you, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, but the secret sauce is really the underlying engine that does everything on the fly. Historically with data, you had to manually massage the information to fit a certain table, schema, database, to then run analytics on top. It was hard-coded in a way by DBA, and every time you had a change in data or dashboard needs, you would go back to IT. Sysons found a way to do it on the fly. So you don't need a DBA, you don't need to do it in advance, you don't need to build a warehouse or a schema, we do it on the fly. If it's on the fly, the business users can do it. It's agile and it's cost-effective. And that underlying core technology is enabling all the rest. And then we put a lot of machine learning around it and AI to produce insights before you ask them, which is a key thing these days. So SciSense 7.0 is the latest version? Yep. What's, uh, what's, what's, what's beyond that? You said you're uh, oh, constantly... 8.0. <laughs> and what, what can we expect to see? Anything uh, you want to... So our that? entire claim to fame is, again, condense the time from the raw data to insights for a business department, right? Enabled by IT maybe, but not led by IT. And we're investing in a lot of technologies. AI is a fancy name, let's call them smart technologies, there's machine learning, neural networks, etc. All of them do one thing, condense the time to value, and make it even more easy for those business departments to get value. That's great, that's great. Mir, thanks very much for coming by, we appreciate it. Uh, if you want to learn more about SciSense, we encourage you to go to SciSense.com. They have uh, great demos and a lot of other resources to check out. You can look at our buyer's guide at solutionsreview.com uh, on our BI site. And uh, we would be happy if you followed us on Facebook or Twitter or certainly YouTube. Uh, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Thanks.